everybody, and welcome back to Sonic Cat's First 30, where we take a blind, unbiased look at a game you probably haven't heard about. Today, we're taking a look at a game called Relic Hunter's Legend. Now, this is developed and published by Rogue Snail, and it's due out quarter to 2019. So, it doesn't look like it has an official release date, but we're going to check it out anyway. So, with that, let's begin. Raph. The party engineer. Support. Raph's tunes are the life of the party, healing allies, and destroying enemies. She's all about the rhythm, teamwork, and style. And then one that's locked. I'll play this because I like support characters in other games. I can't change my loadout. And I guess I'll... We so, you're supposed to play this game with friends, but because it's not out yet, I have no one to play it with, so I'm just going to have to play it kind of by myself, and we'll figure it out as we go. We're, we're learning without really being told. Well, I mean, we were told the whole ship, but oh, we're fighting an army of ducks. Is there like a dodge? Oh, I can hide behind this. I like that. Okay. Oh, there's like a fancy duck. I like that they call them duckins or dukins, but they're just ducks. I got something called a crude light shield. I'm digging this. Definitely digging it. I wish I had like a dodge roll. Oh! I was I was hiding behind the barricade to stay safe and he just freaking shot a rocket. What a dick. The game got so quickly so much harder. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Yes. All right. Let's reload. Now that we handled that, got a, got a, kind of intense very quickly. Oh, we got like a boss. Okay. All right, we got a boss. He has rockets. I hate that. All right, let's keep it moving. Wow, his his shots home. All right. Whoa, whoa. Oh, there's. Oh no. Why? Why is that a thing you can do? Oh! Cheating! Cheating! Out of ammo. That's bad. Shit. Okay. Let's just take a second. Reload. Finish these guys off. Maybe pick up some ammo. Heal. Oh, he's summoning harder enemies. Wow, this is actually fairly tough. Okay, okay, we got we got the area kind of cleaned up. Let's reload this. Let's go ham. Oh, we're going ham. Got him. Wow. All right, that was that was challenging. I can't change loadout. All I can change is hunter. Okay, so she's level three. So let's try a new one. Um, let's do damage. All right, I'm ready. Do it. Try to get up here. See what happens. I played Destiny Capture the Flag. I know all about defending the point. Come on. What do you got? You got nothing. So my guy has less shields than the other one. Oh. I just realized I have abilities down there. Did I have all those on my last character? And I just never saw them? This would be a super fun multiplayer game. I could see my buddies and me playing this for a long time. So I think the goal each time these guys come should be to kind of toss the bomb to anyone I can get with that very quickly and then kind of take out whatever's left after that. I really like when you guys all group up, but I'm kind of not... In okay, eat a bomb. Oh, get dusted. Take that. Dodge over here. Boom. Got him. Take... Oh, did you just get hit by your own rocket? Oh, that's got to be pretty rough. I got to be honest. Boom. Bomb goes that way. Do this. Hit plus. Dodge that way. Can't... You can't hit this. You cannot hit this. Okay, that guy kind of can. Oh, I am almost dead. I am probably going to die. All right, we got to switch to the big guns. We got to play real careful. I am getting so messed up. I just fell off. No! Wow. Okay, 
This is definitely, this definitely went another measure harder. Their shots are also like, oh, I died instantly. Holy shit. Oh my God, we take so much damage. Get him, get him, get him. Woo! Oh boy. Okay, we're fine. Reload that. Back to this. I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna use the potion yet, but it's like, it happens so fast. Woohoo, we did it. We did it. I definitely like this character. I need to go back now and choose the one that I chose the first time, because I must have just missed that entire skill bar. Anyway, we're gonna wrap up there. What I like to do at the end of these first 30 videos is kind of give you my thoughts on the game. Maybe point out some things that wouldn't have been as obvious if you didn't have the, the mouse and keyboard in your hands, which obviously you didn't and I did. First things first, game is real fun. This game is well made, it's arcadey, you have skills and upgrades, weapons, armor, all these different things. This is gonna be a great game. If you have three buddies to play with, because I think it's four player co-op, I, 100% like glowing endorsement of this game. It's super fun. The enemies are varied and different enough. The stages are interesting. The different objectives that they have you do are different enough. You know, one was get through all the areas, kill all the enemies, obviously. But then they had like King of the Hill. And I'm sure they're gonna have other modes and things like that. The fun is there. The challenge is there. The depth, the equipment and stuff seems to be there, right? Like I only got a little taste of it but it's at least varied enough that I was already interested in it. And I picked up a couple different weapons. They seem to really change the way I was playing. Uh, and so that's great. You also have, you know, five different characters. How many different characters do we have? Uh, yeah, five. Maybe this one is locked or something else. Five different, uh, I would assume very different play style type of characters who you could, uh, who you could play as. Add this to your watch list, follow it. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, it actually has a tag. I'm looking at it now. Free to play. This game is gonna be freaking free. This is great. I don't know why this game is free. I don't know what their model's gonna be, but it sure as heck is super fun to play. What I also like to do at the end of the first 30s is kind of give you the community sentiment. Um, what's the buzz about the game? Is it kind of looking popular? Have they had a controversy? So this, like I said before, is developed by Rogue Snail. So this publisher developer did Star Vikings and Relic Hunter Zero. Relic Hunter Zero came out on August 18th, 2015. And now this game is gonna come out in 2019, again, quarter two. So it's a new take on an older game, but the older game has such good reviews. I can see why they have such good reviews. This is definitely something that you're gonna wanna be on the lookout for when it does come out. So. Nothing bad to say about it. Their track record is promising. Their other games have stellar reviews from looking at uh, Relic Hunter. Play it. Put it on your watch list. Mark it on your calendars. This game is going to be great fun. Grab three friends, hop in, and play it. We're going to wrap up there. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I enjoy talking to you guys about this stuff. Any kind of discussion is always welcome. I love hearing from you. Till next time, burn bright, everybody.